Hey everyone, welcome to session number two of our series on the Apostle Creed. Today we will be looking at God the Father. Um, the line in the Apostles Creed is, I believe in God the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. God is creator of all, both unseen seen and unseen alike. Um, we see this in Genesis chapter 1, and we believe God created everything. What this doesn't say is exactly how God created everything. Um, some believe that, you know, bam, he spoke and there it was. Um, others believe in creation in an evolutionary, theistic evolutionary sense. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, any even among the ones who believe he spoke it into existence, how long did this take? Uh, was it seven literal 24-hour days, or was it seven figurative days in that did he take, you know, a thousand years as a, as a day, or, you know, there, there's some debate this of how exactly he did, but what's not under debate is that God did create. This may be a video for another time um, to go deeper into it, so stay tuned if this interests you. You may see that at some point. God is also almighty or all-powerful or omnipotent uh, is sometimes the theological word you hear thrown around. Um, God can do anything he wants. He can't do something that's illogical, like make a square circle or, you know, something that just doesn't make sense. And he also won't override our free will. Um, there's some debate on free will, and that's also maybe a topic for another time to go deeper into it. But he does grant us our free will. If we decide not to accept him, he will respect that. Um, but he is all-powerful in the ultimate sense of it. God is also Father, um, and that's also seen in creation and in providence. And in the Christian view, um, Christians consider God a false father in, in an intimate sense. Um, the Jews would call God Father, but it was in a in a provider sense. Um, he provided for them. He protected them. He gave them the laws that they were to obey. Um, so he played that kind of authoritative role and provider role, but it was not an intermittent role. The Jews would not have called God Abba, which was the word, the Aramaic, the word for um, father in the first century Judaism. But because of Christ, we have been literally adopted into God's family. And we get the privilege of calling God Father in the personal and intimate sense. So, and we will be talking about Jesus in, section, in session number three. So we will see you guys next time. Bye.